Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the next part of The Sims 4 Generation. So it's currently a Saturday and I've just got Montana making some, what is it, silly gummy bear? Silly gummy bear pancakes. So you know, it's a bit of a silly day. The family's going to do something different today. I'm thinking of maybe like going to a park or going swimming, doing something that they wouldn't usually do because it's a Saturday. Montana's at work, so she's not invited, but that is also fine. She hasn't been promoted in a very long time, I don't think. What even level is she on right now? She's a five. That's not that bad. So, to be honest, she could still get promoted, which is good. So, we're going to try for that. Get some extra money in. Is Luca at work today? No, he's at work in three days. He always has weekends off. So, I guess Luca is going to have some parenting time with the kids, which doesn't often happen. Oh, these look good. They look very, very good. But yeah, that doesn't often happen because it's often Montana that does it. Also, I have a new filming location, so let me know what you think of the quality and everything. Because I've actually... Uh, I'm just going to call everyone a meal. But I know this might sound weird. Oh, she's at work, so she can't. That's fine. I'm going to get Luca to call everyone a meal. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what I was saying is I've actually got a different filming location right now. Not anything extravagant, it's going to sound pretty weird, but I'm filming in my garage slash shed kind of thing. Basically, my dad is a mod. If you're not from England, then a mod is kind of like 60s fashion, um, Twiggy, Lambrettas, uh, what they're called, Parkers, Fred Perry's, stuff like that. So he's a bit of a mod slash skinhead. And also, if you're not from England, I don't mean like the really razor skinheads. It's just kind of a fashion style around here. Um, so yeah, my dad's into that kind of stuff. So because he's into that kind of stuff, he's got, let me turn around and check. One, two, three, four. He's got five scooters, like Lambrettas and Vespers. He did have six, but he's just sold one. But because he's got so much and we only live in a little bungalow because, you know, it's England, uh, there wasn't really much space for him to display them. So yeah, my dad's decided to extend the garage, which you'll see if you watch my building my real house speed build you'll kind of see it but yeah there's like a big desk and I don't know I like it because I feel like I'm actually leaving the house to go to work or something I know I don't get paid for this or anything but you know it's it's better than just sitting in my room every day and filming because it just feels like I've escaped or something I don't know it feels like I've got out so yeah let me know what you think because it's a little bit echoey but I think that's fine it'll be fine um I just enjoy it more although the uh, the height of the desk is a bit a bit too high, but I have my mum bought me a bar stool, bless her. She came in yesterday and she's like, "I got you a present." It was only like fifteen pound, but I appreciate it so much. But yeah, but anyway, oddly heated discussion. As an artist who uses odd mediums such as dirty bath water and curdled milk, mm, you do you. Is always trying to engage Montana in heated discussion. Um, should Montana argue art through with with her or ignore her? I'm gonna do a heated discussion. Oh, she's had a performance loss. <laughs> well, well, you better work hard. Uh, Montana goes head to head with the abstract artist in front of everyone in the painter's group and comes out sounding old fashioned and out of it. Well, you know what? It's, it's fine if everybody has different opinions. That's fine. Also, Luca has acquired the mischief skill. Oh, he, is he trolling the forums? Yep, he is. That's like, people view like trolls and stuff online, trolls as really geeky nerdy guys and, and sometimes I think they can be but for the majority of it I honestly think it's just people like this that oh look at that sister moment uh but yeah it's just like normal people that you wouldn't expect I watched a documentary on it once uh kind of a thing about celebrities I'm doing the quotation marks because in the UK if a TV program says celebrities it's probably like I don't know someone who's been on TV once but confronting their trolls and they're all like pretty normal people. But yeah, I think the sisters are going to have some some time here. Oh, actually, maybe we should just have a sister day instead of the full family. So yeah, I th can we travel on our own? Um, travel with Clementine. There we go. And we'll have some sister bonding time. And by that, I mean, they're probably going to fall out. They're probably going to fight. But that's fine because that every sister does that. I know me and my sister, we literally... Well, there's like, um... What, how many years is there? 
I was going in year seven and she was going in year 11. So I think like four or five years between my sister and I. And we did not get on throughout like all of my childhood, all of my teenage years. Well, we kind of did. We had like our moments and things. But now that we're older, we are like inseparable, which happens a lot with a lot of sisters and things. Because obviously hormones when you're a teenager and... Yeah, but now we're the best of friends. So is that going to be Montana and Eloise? Not Montana, <laughs> Clementine and Eloise. I don't know. We'll have to find out. But I think Eloise still hasn't got her, her like naughty phase out yet. So she's still going to be mean for a while, especially to Clementine. And she's going to try and like drive away all of Clementine's friends. So Clementine's just the the loner in the year. Uh, at school so she just sits by herself and does drawings because she's scared to make friends because Eloise gets jealous because she's like no I'm the popular one so that's how this is gonna play out and I'm excited <laughs> oh I spent way too much time sorry I'm adjusting my chair by the way so if the audio goes weird but yeah I spent too much time like exploring um sim stories my sister was actually trying to find my youtube channel the other day i don't know why i'm so apprehensive to tell her about it like she knows i've got one and stuff but um yeah because i was like i don't want you like i don't want to cringe hearing my sister like talk about the stories i'm making and stuff but she was like no i'd love that i'd love just sitting listening but yeah i still don't also this mad person who is this tristan forrest is just playing there. Can we do it? Oh, we're gonna sit this sit here together. Get a nice little picture. Oh well, you know, not really together, but that's fine. <laughs> right? Can we play in this? More choices. Oh, play in. <gasps> Wait, no. Play in together. We'll do that instead. Sister time, sister bonding. Okay, Clementine is like, oh no. Here she is, she's back. There we go. And like, Clementine's being a little bit naughty, being a bit rebellious, she's not quite used to it. Oh, and then this diva is just like, hey guys. <laughs> Right, what else can we do at this park? This is Lil Simsy's build, by the way. I'm currently playing in her save file. I don't know if I've mentioned that. But there's a little bit of a... Um, like these things here. I have an autumn mod enabled. So when I play in Windenburg, it like overrides the trees to autumnal. But I guess it's happened to you. But I'm fine with that because it's just starting to become autumn in like where I live. So England. So I'm excited about that. I saw a couple of leaves today in the garden, just on the floor, that had um, died and went off. And I enjoyed it. <laughs> right, well, Clem, why aren't you taking part, hon? Play pirate. Oh, can she use this? Oh, that's cool, she can use that. Uh, okay, play pirate together. Get some of your skills up because the skills are really lacking, I think. Yeah, she's only mental one, motor two, social two, creativity three. And she, oh, she's she's social five. Like, she is doing well. <laughs> right. Um, now I think, I think she's going to come up here, Eloise, I mean, and talk to this boy. We're going to get to know him. And then I think we're going to see where this friendship goes because then she might start being nasty to Eloise because she's like, no, don't like play with me because I'm trying to get a boyfriend. Um, oh, this isn't happening apparently. Okay, go use the toilet quickly because you need the toilet. Oh, are we using the toilet together? Oh, you know what? You couldn't make that up. That is perfect timing. Thanks everybody. <laughs> Right, now go upstairs and flirt, please. Uh, I just want something friendly. Right, friendly. <gasps> Ask to cloud gaze. And but we've just spent five smallines on something. And I'm not sure what. Also, I've just like hit the microphone, so sorry about that. But we're going to make him... We'll make him do his homework, actually, because he hasn't done that. We're going to make him... 
care for self. Oh, this is cute. Very nice. They'd make cute babies. Wait, let me get a proper look at Montana. No, I mean Eloise now. She looks less like Michael Jackson. I will say that. I just wish I'd given them thicker lips. Like, I've kind of changed the style of my Sims since I started this generation's LP. So now they don't really look how I want them to look. But yeah, this relationship is blossoming. It is doing very good indeed. They're both feeling inspired. So uh, I'm going to quote cartoon character. Do an impression. Uh, what else? Pop culture reference. Oh, Eloise just became good friends with Clementine. I have no idea how because it's not a group conversation, but I'll have it. I'll take it. I'll take it. How long? Because Jackson grows up in three days. Eloise is still seven. That's quite a while. And Clem's still got 10. So she's not doing very well in her character values. Eloise is okay. Jackson, Jackson's doing really good at responsibility, but I'm not surprised because I don't think I was filming it. But when they woke up this morning, the first thing that he went to do was tidy the plates away. And I was like, thank you. I appreciate you. So that's good. Jackson really is like the angel child. Let me look at his... Where is it? Oh, traits. Self-assured. Uh, what's Eloise's? Outgoing and rebellious. Ah, oh, this is a childhood phase. Um, and then Clem's a goofball, which is true. Like, she's at a park full of people and she's choosing like a one weird looking adult to, um, to talk to. I mean, she doesn't look that weird, but like, it's just the... The outfit choice <laughs> so <laughs> yeah but anyway it's getting kind of late now it's like 6 32 how did our relationship oh not not her how did our relationship go oh we have really good friends clyde it's going well better than oh whitley's a teenager now oh well that's that plan gone out the window um so we better start working on our relationship with annette but yeah but now we're currently you know Trying to chat up this teenage boy. Wonder how that's going to go for us. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this part here because it's like 7 o'clock at night now. But thank you very much for watching if you watched. As always, remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.